Yo, what's up? This is Eric Wong from PrecisionMovement.coach and today we're going to go through a technique I call the overhead wall rollout and you're going to want to use an ab wheel for this. So if you have an ab wheel or if you have something where you can slide your hands very smoothly up and down a wall, then you can use that too. But I recommend use the ab wheel. Okay. So this technique is great if you've got any kind of shoulder issues, shoulder pain, bursitis, impingement, rotator cuff tendonitis, wing scapula, anything, any limitations in overhead mobility, this exercise is a great movement and a great technique to repattern the overhead movement of your arm. Okay, so here's what's up. Find a wall, get your ab wheel. Now, put the ab wheel up on the wall and then from there just step out, step back away from the wall a few inches, okay? Just so you're leaning into the wall. Now here you want to just kind of protract the scapula a little bit, not full out, but protract a little bit. You don't want to retract, so protract a little bit to help fire up that serratus anterior, okay? From here, you're just going to roll slowly up the wall, and as you roll up the wall, you're going to shrug your shoulders, elevate your scapula, okay? Get as far up as you can, and then come back down. Now there's a few key technique pointers here. So one to be aware of is your core. You don't want to let your spine go into lumbar extension like that, okay? You see that air? I'm losing my spine, my rib cage is flaring out. Don't do that. Keep your anterior core on, your abdominals on the whole time so you're not losing that neutral spine, okay? So this is really gonna help with overhead pressing any kind of overhead strength exercises. Number two is you don't want to hold your breath, okay? You want to keep breathing the whole time through. The toughest place is going to be when your arms are right up overhead. So we'll just focus, hold there for a bit, breathe, and then bring it down. Okay, so we're going slow. We're working on what I call the ABCs of movement, alignment, breathing, and control, okay? We're not in a rush here, doing everything properly, breathing throughout the movement, okay? Now, the key here is the shrugging of the shoulders at the top. One of the big myths in training and fitness is that the scapula, your shoulder blades, always have to be down and back. So people are teaching and trying to pinch your scapula down and back, doing overhead presses. That's just going to result in impingement at the shoulder, tendonitis, bursitis, some kind of shoulder pain is going to occur. Okay? You need to elevate your scapula when your shoulder is flexed, when your arms are up overhead. Otherwise, you're going to decrease the space in that area right here in the acromion and where the tendon, the rotator cuff tendons are and the bursts, where the shoulder bursa are. That space is going to get decreased and impinged. That's the term impingement is pinching down on those tendons or those tissues. Okay, so we need to elevate the scapula, shrug the shoulders when the arms are up overhead. Okay, so when you're doing this technique, you can go eight to 12 repetitions, slow under control, but work more on alignment and control and breathing and make sure that those are in place and stop if you feel like you're losing technique, you're holding your breath or you're losing your ability to control the movement through that full range, okay? So that's gonna help you out. It's gonna help fire up all the scapular muscles that are responsible for upward rotation of the scapula. So the upper traps, lower traps, serratus anterior, and it's gonna help you to pattern this overhead movement to help to maintain core function and stable stability in through the spine as your arms are up overhead. So you're not flaring the spine, popping up, getting into excessive extension in through the lumbar area, okay? So there you have the overhead wall rollout. Do it up. It's gonna help you out if you've got any kind of shoulder pain or anything like that. And make sure you let me know how it goes. All right, peace.